little bit later in the morning, but I've been messing around with other stuff, trying to do dishes, clean up, all of that fun stuff. Preston helped me do dishes. He is home. He has a belly ache. Hey, when that happens. But uh, been working on the vlog and all that stuff. Underway. Now I'm gonna start working on these little um hot chocolate bags for uh, the stocking stuffers at school because they're like you know send them ASAP. So I gotta start working on these bad boys because it's probably gonna take me a little while. Still not sure what I'm gonna do about the sticker situation or the tags. I'm either going to make my own or um, go to Dollar General and see if they've got any. They probably have some. It'd probably just be a lot easier to do that, to be honest with you. Um, and I gotta go to Dollar General anyways because I'm out of sugar and I gotta get some Cool Whip for our coffee and I gotta get cat food and nobody tells me these things when I'm at Walmart yesterday. Yeah, I love how that <laughs> how that happens, but. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start making all of these bags. I'm just going to put, I'm going to open up the little uh, box here, take out a package of the hot chocolate, which has marshmallows in it. I like extra marshmallows, so I figured I'd get the ones with extra marshmallows. Um, this one was a dollar for like the 10 pack. And then these bigger packs um, with the 30 were like $3.38. And then I paid like uh, $5.98 for this, and I paid $0.98 cents a piece for these. So like I said, really budget friendly. So if you guys have kids that they do that with the uh, stocking stuffers at school, and um, this is really uh, budget friendly. I didn't quite think about that the twins are going to be given the same thing, but I mean, uh, who doesn't like hot chocolate? So I mean, if you get two of them, to me that's like score, not a problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have at least sixty to sixty-six bags to make. So I have a 200 count of sandwich bags, which I use for like the kids' um, sandwiches and stuff at school. That's what I'm going to put all the stuff in, and then we're going to uh, put a little tag either on the bag or up at the top with a piece of construction paper saying what it is. And then voila! So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. packages of hot chocolate, <laughs> peppermint, and marshmallows look like. Yep! That's all of them. Yeah. Filled up boxes. I went ahead and just did all of them just to make sure that I didn't miss any kids and whatever's left over um, the teachers can just have as <laughs> a small token of my appreciation for them teaching my children. Um, I also got some construction paper and cut out some, um, some little, these are not what the, um, what the things are going to go, the labels are going to go in here. So it's going to hopefully be like a nice little cute white label with some kind of design and then I'll put the, this is just like the background so to speak. So I cut out all of those to, Riley's over here trying to open the bag, to go on the bag here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put... One of them on the bag like that with one of the cute little labels and just kind of uh, staple it on there and that's what it's going to look like. It's going to say like snowman soup and like elf pillows or whatever. Anyways, that's what it's going to look like. Riley keeps thinking that these are for him. Saying, can you open now? They're not for you, mister. I know, it's so sad. So sad. <laughs> I was going to cut out wrapping paper that had a little snowman on it over there. 
But then I quickly realized that that was like making more work than than anything really because wrapping paper is not like construction paper. You know, construction paper you can just kind of fold it in half, cut, and then just put it together, cut again. Yeah, that's not the case with wrapping paper. So I was probably making more work than what I needed. But anyway, those are all done. I even had some um, extra for the stuff that I talked to you guys about yesterday. Um, yeah, so that's done. Later I'll go to the dollar uh, store and get the labels and finish those up and write on them. And then they'll be done and I guess the kids will take them tomorrow um, with them for school. But I'm done with that. Thank goodness. So I gotta clean up all of the remain remainder of this mess anyways. Um, and then I'm going to try to stuff those stockings with uh, cotton. cotton. Yeah, like I said, like a week ago or something. And I didn't mean when I said that, I didn't mean you keep them like on your couch all year round. You only bring them out at like the holiday time, like Christmas. You know, and I think though, if you have like guests that come over to your house that maybe they don't get to see like your kids or you that often. I think that, that would be like a cute way also for them to kind of feel like they see a little bit of, you know, like your child's school year and stuff. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a good idea all around. It's just a fabulous idea. So I'm not going to sew them because I just don't want to. I'm going to take some fabric glue and just put it at the top and close it up. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on all of that stuff. <laughs> Okay, these have obviously been glued and dried, so I'm taking the clips off. I just used some uh, Fabric Fusion. This is what I used. So, we let this dry. It's been a couple of hours, literally. Um, let's put them over here so you guys can see. I stuffed them, and that's what they look like. So, you would take them. They're getting dressed. <laughs> you would take them, and you would just, like, set them. Like on your couch like that. So say you have your little pillows. Just like so. Well, there's usually a green one behind this one. Anyways. Let me just play Martha Stewart for ya. Okay. Anyways, you can take it and you can set it like that. In your couch. Or you can set it in the little crack in your couch. <laughs> Whatever. But that's what um, those look like. I think they came out pretty cute. I must say so myself. You chopped out the... Bigfoot's foot. Yeah, chopped off Bigfoot's foot. Anyways, really cute. Um, I also took some time to work on Brody's um, little jacket here. It's a lot of little glue and stuff on it. But um, he is playing a greaser boy in the church play. And they wanted a leather jacket. But um, it's pretty dang difficult to find a leather jacket for a six-year-old unless he is a greaser boy in a biker gang. I don't know. In Greece. I mean, you know, there's like, it's really hard to find that. So I wasn't going to purchase one for him to wear like one time for an hour and then, you know, be done with it. So I was like, okay, well, I could do this. So what I've done is I've taken his little Frankenstein jacket that he wore that we got from the thrift store uh, for Halloween. And I put these little like leather, fake leather, uh, strips and little accents and stuff on it. So he can wear, I got some glue right there I'm going to have to clean off. Don't worry about that. Um, anyway, so he can wear it and it'll kind of sort of look like um, a little jacket. He's going to have like a little white t-shirt underneath it, jeans and his little kicks. Um, but this is the first time that we've had like a Christmas um play that we've had to provide like costumes when I was doing Christmas plays when I was a kid the church always provided the costumes they're providing so costumes. they're providing Preston's costume but I still have Daniel's and Brody's and stuff but anywho um yeah so I've been working away on that stuff and cutting out all the little individual pieces and all that fun stuff and then while everything was gluing uh, Riley started rubbing his eyes, so we took a little cat nap. No shame. Y'all know I love my cat naps. Um, and now it is ready. Well, now we need to be getting ready and picking up last minute items before the other two big boys get home. And then we all leave to go get Dale from work and stop by the dollar store. 
but that's what's going on. That's pretty much been my whole day. Work, work, work. My hands is covered in glue. I keep having to pick glue off of my hands. I'm gonna be at this for days. So I'm just working on the tags. Um, I decided to take my little like paint marker that's white. I was gonna write on the tags, but it didn't really go so well. So I decided just to make some little like snowflakes um, on there with some dots, just to kind of punch it up a little bit. I have got this huge stack right here left to do and I don't even know if I'm going to need um, this one yet but I have it just in case but oh my gosh I've got 70 of these bad boys to do so it's probably gonna take me all night from doing the snowflakes and stapling them but I'm gonna go ahead and um, start heating up dinner we're just having leftovers tonight for dinner um, it was tater tot casserole I switched it up a little bit um, this time I added a can I have this nacho like cheese soup in it um, and green chilies. I normally put um, some Rotel in it, but I kind of just swapped it up. And it tastes pretty good though. But anyways, yeah. that's my big old pile on my plate, okay? It looked way prettier last night and I'm adding some sour cream um, tonight. I did throw in some sour cream uh, when I was mixing the uh, cream of mushroom and the nacho cheese soup um, and the kidney beans hamburger meat. <laughs> he was dancing. Okay, anyways, Dell's just getting out of the shower. Um, we're trying to eat dinner. I'm trying to finish those cards over there. Oh my gosh, I have like a lot of those going on, but it's worth it. Willy Wonka just went off. Ugh, I just want to stay home in my pajamas. Nothing. No. I complain that I want to go out and then I complain I want to stay home. <laughs> I love making plans to have to put on real clothes. <laughs> Hope that applies to me big time. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and eat though and try to gather all these other children up for choir practice and uh, Cub Scouts. I'm going to try to show you guys some of these uh, houses with like the lights and stuff on them if I can. There's one right there. I'm gonna try to show you the one um, with the green sparkles on it. Amazing, it's on up here. There's one right there. There's one over here. We're coming up on the green sparkle one. Let's try to show you guys. That's pretty. And then here's one with that green sparkle thing. Amazing. Look at that house. That's like country Christmas. I love it. And they even have their little barn with a star on it and there um, has red letters that says Merry Christmas. Love it! Cool looking hair. I know. Anyways, the kids are going to sleep. I wanted to say goodnight though before I forgot. And I almost forgot because I left my camera in the dining room. But I'm back here watching the Santa Claus. I love Tim Allen. Love him. I think this was like the best one. The second one's alright and the third one's okay, but I really enjoy the first one. Riley's hiding underneath the blanket over here. Him's under there. Ah! Dale's got dessert coming back here. All the other boys are asleep, so Riley is crashing our party, so to speak. Yeah. Anyways, I finished off my pie last night, so no pie tonight, but anyways. See, there he is. There he is. Riley. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Crazy boy. He's wearing his brother's shirt. Yes, you do have a foot. <laughs> a very lovely foot. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see your foot. Thank you, foot. Anyways. What are you talking He's always like threatening to punch somebody. Alright, Power Ranger. Anyways, we're gonna say goodnight. But if I can get to it. But, um, yeah, goodnight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, you should say goodnight no, because no, no, no. Stop. you haven't seen them in forever. You should definitely say goodnight. Goodnight, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you when I can.
Oh, no, we're not doing the belly dance. Stop. <laughs> no, you don't make me spill my drink now. <laughs> Sorry, he's looking at the Santa Claus and he's like, so you put on a little weight. And so he lifts up his shirt and says, does this look like a little weight? And so Riley, he does that every time he sees that commercial on TV. Uh, that's what he was just doing to Dale. <laughs> Anywho, Dale's gonna end up like that if he doesn't stop eating dessert. But it's good. <laughs> it is. It Might as well die full and happy. Uh, speaking of that, the shooting that went on in California, it's, that's a terrible situation as well. Instead of just praying for, like, states or, like, countries, we need to just pray for the world, the good and the bad. We just need to pray for everybody, you know? For sure, because this is just, it's honestly just getting ridiculous, and it's just not safe to do anything anymore, and it just makes me fear the end is coming even more, so it makes me want to get, like, my affairs in order, like, even more, like, you know what I mean? Like, I've been trying for the past 26 years, I need to try a little bit harder, I guess, so. <laughs> Anyways, but... Um, our thoughts and our prayers are with them and everybody else. So, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight before this, like, rambles on and Riley decides to take any more clothes off. Say goodnight. Bye-bye!